In this video, we're going to talk about efficiency and use our efficiency rating to help us find an amount of force that we need to apply to accomplish a task. Notice at the top of the screen, suppose the efficiency of a 1.65 meter long crowbar is 60%. What force will be needed to remove a tree stump that resists with a force of 15,500 newtons if the fulcrum of the crowbar is 8 centimeters from the tree stump? So again, I'm this, I want to try to draw a picture to help me understand what's happening here. So we have a crowbar and we have a tree stump providing some resistance at 15,500 newtons. And then we have the fulcrum that is 8 centimeters from the tree stump. But if you'll remember, our work is calculated in joules, which is a newton meter. And so we need to have newtons and meters. So I'm going to convert. 8 centimeters to meters and I get the distance from the tree stump to the fulcrum as 0 0.08 meters. <clears throat> Next I want to know I want to provide a, a force at the other end of the crowbar and I'm not exactly sure what force needs to be applied so I'm going to put an X there. As in my last example the length of the crowbar is 1.65 meters and the length from the resistance force to the fulcrum is 0.08 meters. So when I subtract those two, I get the distance from the fulcrum to the effort of 1.57 meters. So there's an illustration to represent what we're working with. Now they gave me this information of the bar is 60% efficient. So if you look at the bottom of your screen and find the formula for percent efficiency, you will see that it's equal to the actual mechanical advantage divided by the ideal mechanical advantage, then times 100. So since they mentioned efficiency, I'm going to start with the efficiency equation. I'm going to substitute in information that I do know. So right now I know that my percent efficiency is 60. Right now I don't know my actual mechanical advantage, nor do I know my ideal mechanical advantage. But I do notice at the bottom of the screen that I do have formulas for those. So I'm going to start with actual mechanical advantage over here to the side, which is equal to my force out or my resistance force divided by my force in or my effort force. The force of resistance is 15,500 newtons. And my force that I'm going to apply, or my effort force, is not known right now, so I'm going to put an X in there. Now because this has a variable in it, I'm not going to plug it into my efficiency equation just yet. So I'm going to move on and try to find ideal mechanical advantage, which is found by the distance of the effort, or the distance in, divided by the distance of the resistance, or the distance out. The distance from the fulcrum to my effort force is 1.57. The distance from my fulcrum to my resistance force or to the tree stump is 0.08 meters. Because I've converted from centimeters to meters, my two units of meters cancel out right here. And my ideal mechanical advantage is 19.625. Since this is a number that I know, I'm going to plug it in to my formula up here for IMA. So that leads me to 60 equals AMA divided by 19.625 times 100. 
I'm going to work to solve this for AMA. So to undo times 100, we need to divide both sides by 100. Now to get AMA by itself, I need to undo dividing by 19.625, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 19.625. So I find my actual mechanical advantage is 11.775. Now I'm ready to take my information over here where I found the formula for actual mechanical advantage for our problem to be 15,500 newtons divided by x, and I'm going to plug that in over here for AMA. So now I have 11.775 equals 15,500 newtons divided by x. I'm trying to find x, that's my effort force, the amount of force that I need to exert in order to lift this tree stump. And so in order to undo dividing by x, I'm going to multiply both sides by x. And then to undo multiplying 11.775 times x, to undo the multiplication, I'm going to need to divide both sides by 11.775. Now I'll have a newton left because I'm not dividing by a newton, and when I divide these two numbers out, I get 1,316.35 newtons. So I should be able to exert a little more than 1,300 newtons in order to uh, use the lever and my mechanical advantage to lift the 15,000 newtons or to move the 15,500 newtons of resistance. And again, we're checking this out in saying that I would exert less because I'm using the lever to help me with my work. And the mechanical advantage that the lever provides allows me to lift a heavier object with a lesser amount of force.